but tonight we're also tracking the tropics. It's a system called Ada. It was a tropical storm earlier today. Now it's weakened to a tropical depression, but it's still a system South Florida needs to watch. Meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez is here with the latest advisory on the storm. Lisette? Yes, Elliot and Lauren, you know, Ada is struggling right now and weakening over the mountainous terrain of Central America where it has just been pounding places like Nicaragua, Honduras, Belize, as well as Guatemala, bringing torrential rain, life threatening flash flooding and mudslides and catastrophic winds here. Uh, as we take a look at the latest advisory, not seeing any big changes because of the fact that Ada is forecast to weaken as it moves west and northwest, but then regain strength. So, remnant low in the the next 12 to 24 hours and then re-intensifying into a tropical storm as it moves across the Caribbean and yes still seeing that Cuba is in that projected path also included in the cone the Bahamas and South Florida and yes we're seeing the yellow area that means uh, tropical storm conditions are likely so we are preparing for the potential of a tropical storm headed in our general direction heading into late Sunday into Monday now here's the deal there's still a lot of uncertainty some of the models are steering this is a little bit more towards the west while others keep it further east and moving more towards the Bahamas but there are still some models that keep it moving in our general direction and this is the reason why we can't let our guard down so high pressure is currently steering it but then we have a trough that's going to move it to the northeast and then also steer it more towards uh, Cuba Florida the Bahamas it's still too soon to say but of course we'll keep you updated I'll have your complete forecast ahead